just so they could destroy the earth. In the old days, if it was Nero or it was, uh, I forget which, a lot of the Aztec kings and Toltecs and Olmecs, they would commit suicide as well. That that's what the elites do, is, is they, they kill a bunch of people and do weird stuff. I mean, everybody knows about the elites and their weird sexual proclivities that are bizarre. And believe me, the general public has no idea what goes on in Hollywood. No idea what goes on in rock and roll. I mean, people think they know what the royal family of England's into. It's so horrible, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, I don't even want to talk about it on air. And you see the general public who, who, who thinks they know things are corrupt and bad, but really just don't have any idea how deep the waters really are. You know, I say that it's the best of times, the worst of times, to quote the, inter the intro passage from A Tale of Two Cities. But it is the best of times and the worst of times. And we're coming to the final leg in a downward spiral cycle that is going to be the most insane out of control, mass mental illness breakdown the world's ever witnessed with a bunch of high tech, GMO, nuclear weapons, melting down reactors, mass pharmacia, drugging of the population, cultural breakdown, societal rot. If we don't turn the corner soon, it's going to be earth-shaking. It's going to be biblical in nature. It's going to be a third of the earth's population dead, conservatively. And that's what metrics show, not what the Bible says. The Bible does say that, but when you come face to face with what is now about to unfold, the purposed, purposeful, provisioned, lovingly prepared collapse of civilization Agenda 21 on PCP. Cloward and Piven squared. With the globalist who tried to convince us that none of this was being set up, none of this was being prepared, don't pay attention to the man behind the mirror, go to sleep. And now, at the edge of the precipice, all they can use is the incredible goodwill. And what was good in Christendom and the Renaissance, those two things mixing together in Western culture, they use the good, better angels of Western civilization to then manipulate the good men and women that could stop this into actually aiding it through the new religion of political correctness that is a religion of societal suicide, a cultural national abortion of a full-grown civilization, a murder. And when you look at the truly evil people running things, they have a real desire to sink the planet. I mean, look at what globalists do to the third world countries. They've been keeping them in squalor and keeping them down and dumbing down their culture forever. And they've been doing it to a certain extent here, but wanted strong imperial command bases to launch their programs. But the age of man is coming to an end. And so now humanity has to be pulled down into the slums and have their food supply cut off so they can be socially engineered to accept full cultural control and absorption into the eugenics paradigm of forced population reduction, on which an H.R. Geiger-like Hellraiser template will be overlaid. I mean, they're not gonna kill everybody to build something beautiful. The killing the people is the destination. The journey is the destination. 
the seals of hell, the very gates of hell are now being opened. We'll be right back. Play a clip of Nancy Pelosi dovetailed with General Petraeus in a moment. But when you study criminology, when you study psychology, when you study anthropology, it's all really the same. The patterns are repeated. And whether you believe in a physical devil or not, when we let an authoritarian system come into place, the very worst in the culture will end up migrating into the positions of power. And you'll have people low level, even in a corrupt system, that will mitigate some of that because they have humanity and they will basically sidestep the fraud. They will sidestep the oppression. They will uh, let you uh, get out of the net. But once the computerized system goes into place and you have zero ability to make your own decisions in corporate life, religious life, private life, governmental systems, regulatory systems, you are now simply a biological android. A robot that is carrying out the orders it's given. And then you're allowed a little tribal stimulation and some soccer games or football and you're allowed to have some sex and you're allowed to, while the noose is being tightened on the species itself and you're being given binary weapons, binary poisons into your body, to kill you down the road, and they'll even make money out of treating the artificial illness that you were given. And I think that's really what it all comes down to is 100% there is an artificial global scientific dictatorship forming that wants full control and is getting close. And the only way to beat it is to fully admit how real it is. Because again, the general public are still good people on average, but are just so ignorant because they're being faced with something so encompassing. And I'm like a monkey in a cage that sees the bars. And I'm simply trying to get the other creatures around me to realize that we're in an artificial system that's becoming more and more artificial all the time whose aim is our domination and then our slow bleeding out and destruction. The goal is to imprison us. The goal is to torture us. The goal is to destroy our families, destroy our culture, and to render us down. That's why good people tend to lose in the first three quarters of historical fights against evil because good just can't believe it's happening because it doesn't make sense from a perspective of someone that has empathy and that has honor and that wants to be loving and that wants to be good to have pure darkness coming against you. You just can't believe your lying eyes. But the good news is every metric shows that government and the corporate systems that control it are in deep trouble. 7% approval rating gallop for Congress. 14% approval rating down from 17 just a few months ago for the mainstream media. Alternative media, highest approval ratings ever, meteoric metric rise. But then you have to go to the next level and realize the system knows that and it knew that all along and it knew this would be unpopular. That's why the armored vehicles, the tanks, the helicopters, the checkpoints are coming out of the box and coming out of the subterranean garages is because they're taking the gloves off. But the average person even that's going to enforce all this is being decompartmentalized as the gloves come off. They're going, wait a minute, because the liberty movement 
before we got to this point, warned everyone and was demonized and attacked. And the enemy's demonization and hatred and attack of us actually drew attention to us and is now boomeranging back on them. So we're at this key flux point right now where this could be turned around. I want to talk about that when we come back, but we can stop this. We're on the march. The Empire.